Hi guys, it's Irene's Braids and I am back with another video. All right, you guys, so let's just get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start off my braid by applying a little bit of braid gel. I am using the Even Braid Formula. Um, it is level medium. So that is the formula braid gel that I'm using. We are doing some large knotless braids and we are using color two for our braiding hair. So what I did guys is I slowed down this tutorial so that way it can give you guys a better uh, view of what I'm doing here. So before I start off my knotless spray, I like to apply the even braid gel. I like to then split the hair up into three sections as you see here. And what I'm gonna do you guys is the, the method I'm using is I'm going to apply a piece of braiding here at the side of my pinky and I'm going to keep applying that size braiding hair until my braid thickens up. You will notice that I am starting my braid, then I stop. And the reason being is because I'm trying to position my hands for the perfect grip. And by doing that, I will start a braid. And if I feel like it's not consistent enough for me, I will stop and then I will redo it until it's, I'm satisfied with it. So again, I have my sections into three sections. I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to clamp in the right piece of braiding here between my index and thumb finger and I'm going to hold on hold it in that spot push my index finger through the middle of the hair to grab my left strand of her natural hair and I'm going to place that between my index and my thumb then I'm going to place a piece of extension braid here in between my fingers and I'm going to take the top layer of her natural hair bring it down push my right hand through my right index finger through until I can intertwine the braid to make it secure like so and I will add in another piece of braiding here in between my index and thumb finger and I'm going to intertwine by pushing my right finger through until the braid is secure now as you see I'm braiding in about one I'm counting maybe one two then add a piece of hair, one, two, add a piece of hair. Now you can do what's best to your comfort level, but that's just kind of what I'm doing before I add a piece of hair. So I'm braiding it in about two times, then I add a piece of hair in. So once I get it in, I braid overhand to begin my braid, then I braid underhand to finish it. So once I get it in where I need it to be, I start to braid underhand. I like to comb through with, a, with the comb to uh, clean up her hair. And make sure that you know there's no ridges and things like that when it comes to the natural hair because when you add that gel to it sometimes it can make it um, rigidy so you want to clean it up you want to um, comb through it and you want to make it more smooth so that way the braid can look more seamless so I'm gonna go ahead and keep braiding underhand and like I said I braid in about two times and then I stop and I add a piece of um, extension braiding here and all, as always, you guys, I'm braiding it up under and it's going to lay in between my index and thumb fingers. So that way I can braid it in. And I will continue to do this method until I complete my braid. Now, as you guys can see, I'm trying to roll and tuck away her natural hair. So that way her natural hair isn't as visible um, throughout the entire style of these braids. So I want to try to tuck away as much of her natural hair as possible. So when doing these braids, I like to go ahead and braid down as far as I can. And I, and I think by you braiding your braids down to the ends helps seal the braids, especially when it's time to dip it in hot water. That way the braids are not unraveling and you have a more clean finish look. So I will braid to the complete tip and I will only leave just a little bit of hair for just that sleek finish um, at the ends of her hair. So this is what our first row looks like. So when doing the large knotless braids, you can make as many rows as you want. Um, but it's always best to try to do, I think with this style, we did about one, two, three, four, six. So about six rows. And out of those six rows, we did two of the rows straight across in the back of her head. And then we did two rows in a u-shaped parting 
And then when I set off her middle part, of course, it was a middle part down the middle. And then she had um, two sections at the top for her middle part, which you'll see, you know, as the, as we continue on in, in this video. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and play some music here just so you guys can watch me uh, finish cleaning up um, her parts. And I'm going to go ahead and start my second row of braids. And then I will show you what that will look like and how we complete that. All right, let's continue watching.
All right, you guys, so I'm almost done with my second row. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my U-shape parting so that way I can finish off the braids. And when I do a U-shape part, um, I like to do that type of pattern because what that does is it allows my braids to have a more full look. Um, being that these are large braids, I like to you do a U-shape part um, for my third row so that way the braids can fall nicely and kind of lay in between the braids that I've already done. So keeping up with this pattern would help allow that to happen. Now, to be honest with you guys, I use this pattern for mostly all of my styles when it comes to braiding, even down to box braids, um, because it gives it more of a full look. And I like full braids. With knotless, of course, it can't be as full because they are knotless braids. And because of the technique, it cannot be as full, but it does give it a nice look. So this is how my third row looks. I've already completed it um, after doing my U-shaped parting, and this is what the outcome would look like. So now I'm on my fourth row. Here is the braid formula that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, just in case you need to have more of a screenshot that you would like to take to um, memorize what I used. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the fourth row. Once I'm done with this fourth row, um, I will have two more rows left and then those two rows will be my middle part. She will be able to style these braids um, for a left side part, a right side part. She'll be able to bun them and she would be able to do a, a top knot, low knot. Pretty much this style is a very flexible style. It's easy to easy braid style to take down and an easy braid style to put in. So this is definitely the look for the summer and all of the girls are definitely wanting to get this look. So. I'm going to continue letting you guys watch this and I will be back to explain the final details of this video.
All right, you guys, so I'm almost done with her middle part. Um, the braids have come out, you know, pretty nicely here, and I'm very satisfied with it. Um, if I didn't mention in the beginning of this video, this is color two braiding here. We are using the Expressions brand. I am making sure that I roll and tuck away her natural hair when braiding in the braids. I want to try to hide as many of her highlights as possible only because I don't want it to have that tiger stripe look. So I'm trying to get rid of it by rolling and tucking the hair um, behind it. So yes, you guys, this is what it looks like. Hey, don't forget to leave some comments in the comment section. Drop in what your thoughts were about this style. Would this be a, lo a look that you would wear for the summer? Also, what are some videos that you would like for me to post? What would you like to see more from me? What are some questions that you might have? And are you a beginner, a new braider? Are you Have you been braiding for a while? And you're just on here to learn new techniques? Talk to me, guys. Let me know um, what you're thinking so that way I can answer in the comment section. Um, also, don't forget that I am on Instagram as Irene Spreads, on TikTok as Irene Spreads. And if you'd like to book an appointment with me or to take a braid class, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to be able to check that out. Okay, so yes, you guys, um, this style right here, I want to say this can last you about five to six weeks, being that they are larger. Um, and I think that's a great time to be honest. Um, if you're looking for more, if you're looking for longevity, this would not be the style to book. Um, you want to go for more of a smaller knotless or a medium knotless if you would like longevity. But this is a quick and easy style to do. I actually like this style, you guys. I think for me, if I were to do this, I would like them really long. At least butt length or hip length, it would have to be long. Because the braids are so, so much bigger, I like, I would have to like them longer. I think in my next tutorial, I'll do this one. I'll do the same tutorial, but I'll add some curls. So where you guys can see it long, at least butt length with some curls. I think that'd be really pretty. And we'll use some human hair so you guys can see how it would look with human hair. All right, you guys. So here's the final look. My client was so sweet. Her name is Victoria. And it was a pleasure serving, servicing her. This is her second time coming to the Irene's Bridge Salon. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.